Hello and welcome back to another video. So you can see there behind me, that is Big Red in the pen. She's cranky because I've just put her in. I'd say she's contemplating uh, jumping that there because she is one of our jumpers. Um, but she's in there because the vet is coming today at some stage um, because we think we have a problem. Um, we don't think she's in calf. And I'm usually the one to freak out about things like this and dad tells me to relax, but now dad is saying he does not think she's in calf at all. So obviously I am stressed out of my head <laughs> about it. So it could be a very good day today or it could be a really bad day because yeah, I will be devastated um, if she's not in calf. But look, we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully she settles down there in a minute. I've given her nuts, but she doesn't trust me. She thinks I'm going to try and touch her head. So um, I'm going to leave her alone. I need to prepare the yard um, for the silage, even though we're not cutting. We, I think we missed our opportunity, to be honest. And next week, the forecast looks like rain every day. Um, so I don't think we'll get it done next week either. But look, I might as well prep for it while I have the time and while I'm waiting for the vet. And yeah, I'll give you an update on her later on, but fingers crossed. Um, fingers crossed she is in calf, but it's looking unlikely at this stage. So the vet has been and gone and he's been gone a while actually but I've been trying to compose myself which I haven't done a very good job of but uh, yeah unfortunately it's bad news which I suppose we knew but I was holding on hope. Um, yeah it seems like she has a mummified calf in her. That's why she didn't come bullying all winter. Um, she's there uh, yeah he um, thinks that maybe it's at three or four months like there's no sign of anything there's no fluid around the calf there's no sign of a blood flow to the calf nothing so um, yeah unfortunately that means she will have to go for slaughter which is honestly heartbreaking she was my favourite cow. It is so windy today, oh my god. <clears throat> yeah, like, I mean, she's not the friendliest cow, but she's the first one that I kind of tamed. And, uh, yeah, it just, she made my life easier because the rest of them kind of calmed down when they saw her 
behaving so it's just really disappointing she's given us the best animals you know she is the best cow and it is always the best ones what is it but it is always the best ones that there's something with we thought we'd have another three or four years another three or four calves but oh, it's not meant to be so yeah she'll go off soon enough and we'll have five calves for the year and that's it and we'll just have to deal with that we'll hopefully have one replacement uh, from last year and then the black and white one from last year as well is young so she'll be a replacement next year but all of this year's calves touch wood will be sold um, at some stage so yeah it's um yeah <sighs> I, I'm not liking farming today, to be honest. I feel I am torturing myself. But look, you have good days and bad days. We seem to have a, had a bad run of luck, but I suppose we've had some good things in between that as well. And that is just the joys of farming. Um, geez, the wind. The dust. Um, yeah, I'm just really, really disappointed that it's her, but what can I do about it? So, uh, yeah, I've the yard more or less tidied there. I have a few other bits to do, but to be honest, I think um, I'm just going to leave it for today. I'm just not in the mood now. I have another two days off, so I have time yet to do stuff, and I'll just go see the two lots of cattle give them grass and uh, I think go to bed. <laughs> go to bed for a few hours and I might feel a bit better. <laughs> uh, yeah, cause this is just, yeah, this is the downside of farming. Now I'm back out again this morning. I didn't actually go to bed when I finished up yesterday. Um, Dad said we'd do the skeps training course that we have to do this year. I'd say he was just trying to distract me, so we did half of that anyway. Not that I agree with it because that cow, Little Red, and that cow, Michelle, are supposedly one star animals. Michelle gave us our first U grade animal ever on this farm. <laughs> Uh, so tell me how that works because I would say that's a pretty efficient animal right there but anyway as you can probably tell I'm still cranky today um, still upset over Big Red but I gave her a, a good bucket of nuts there I think that's the least she deserves for all she's done for us so I will be treating her like the princess that she is until she goes in the next couple of days but yeah, I just want to treat her um, as best I can now. Uh, I'm not going to do any more in this video because oh, I, I wish I didn't start this video now, to be honest. So look, it will just be an update video more than anything. Um, the yard is clear for the bales and that's it. I'll start another video in a couple of days when I'm in better form. But um, yeah, and when the rain comes, I'd say. But the good news I wanted to give today anyway on this video was that Norma actually came bulling. So she's the first cow this year. She was the first cow last year. She's an absolute pain in the backside, but she just consistently delivers. So touch wood now she holds and I'm just hoping all the rest of them take a leaf out of her book and uh, start bulling soon. These two up here will go down with the rest now when Big Red is gone. Um, just in case um, they are bullying and the two boys will, will show them up hopefully. So look, it was a good start to the week, a positive start and just a very upsetting end to the week. It's one thing to lose a calf, that's always upsetting of course, but when you lose the cow as well, it's, yeah. It's a double blow and look, you can say you didn't lose the cow. Like I know, look at her, she's stunning. 
she'll um, make good money in the factory but that's not what it's all about either so just a pity Penelope's stealing her thunder there but yeah sad to see her go but I'd say she'll be gone by the time you see this video but uh, yeah I might finish with a few photos of her if I can dig some out so thanks for watching